Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge. This time I'm going to be representing Great Britain in the Pol Olympics. So today I'll be taking on four events, the high jump, the shot put, hurdle run and weightlifting. There'll also be five other competitors representing their own countries. There'll be Arglin representing the USA, Aliens Rock representing the USA, Bolt986 who's the developer of the game representing the USA, Reed Captain representing the USA. Where, where's, where's everyone else? Why, why are they all American? Scott Free, representing Ireland. And of course myself. But uh, let's hand it over to today's commentator, who's definitely not me with a peg on my nose. Hello and welcome to the High Jump event. Today we'll be watching the very famous and great and fantastic and good looking and handsome and intelligent and I've run out I've run out of adjectives to describe his greatness. It's RCE or Matt, as some of you might know him as. And today he'll be competing in the high jump event, representing Great Britain. The rules are simple. He has 10 minutes, an unlimited budget, and this vehicle traveling at a very fast speed towards this wall, where he'll have to engineer a way to propel the car as high as possible up the wall of doom no it's, it's not really called the wall of doom it's it's just it just gets people more excited anyway timer has started over to matt right okay then so this is our our first event of the pol olympics so you've got a car here going very fast 30 meters a second acceleration 15 and then we've got to hit as many of these flags as possible now the guys that built this have been pretty clever there's an invisible shape here so we can build behind that with steel obviously if we build a bit of road off there that's fine but if we try and do it on this square shape. You see it's red, not possible. Now, which means we can't just do a ramp like straight up that way. We've got, we're gonna have to do something down here. So let's just press play and see how quick this guy goes. Oh, pretty fast. Okay, unlimited budget. My first sort of instinct is just to do like a quarter pipe type thing. All right, may as well use reinforced road, a bit stronger. All right, so if we take that and fill that in with road, that is what we are left with. And maybe I just want to do a vertical one afterwards. So if I turn the grid back on, maybe snap that one to the grid. And then a vertical. And that might just propel it a little bit higher. All right, so now we just truss this up. I'm sort of thinking for strength. Maybe we use this wall over here just as a bit of a, a bit of a place to rest. All right then, oh god, we've used half our time. We haven't even done a test run yet. Let's play this and see how high we go. Oh, look at that. Nice. I'm just going to try this just to see if we can go up it. But the reason I haven't started here is because you'll see, if you look here, can you see there's a bit of a lip there now? Boosh. Yeah, that's no good. That is no good at all. I do wonder, if I take that top piece off, will it go higher or lower? Let's try and measure where we get to. All right, so I think that's our... Yes, yeah, so that's the final flag. If I don't move this camera, I know if we're higher or lower. So let's firstly just get rid of that, see if that does any better or worse. Okay, that was worse. That was definitely worse. To me, that's slightly taller and sort of Done it not as vertical. So is that any better? Exactly the same. Uh, what if we try and fiddle so it's a bit steeper to start? Oh yeah, that was higher. That was higher. Excellent. I think pretty much just tweak and hope it gets better. Oh, that was close. That, that seemed closer. Oh yes, we got another one. We got another one. Just a little bit of tweaking. That's what it's all about. All right, yeah. I think that's going to be our submission for this one. Right, so let's go and check out the other competitors' solutions. So this is Aliens Rocks one. Oh, that's really clever. If you start higher up, you get more speed. Ooh, I assume he did better. Not in we'll have to wait till the end, yeah, but that was decent. Yeah, so this is Arglin's one. It's just a very, very smooth curve there. Oh, that looks really high. What? Let me watch that again. How did that go so high? Was it because it was so smooth? Oh, I should have thought to do smooth. Of course, being the over-engineer, yes. <laughs> this is one of his other solutions. <laughs> Top flag. <laughs> uh, of course, he did not do that in the time limit, so it does not count. This is Bolts. Again, he's done another little ramp. Uh, oh, did miss some flags and just did it that way, which I assume is fine. He is the developer, after all. <laughs> I mean, it's called, it's called High Jump. It's not called Collect the Flags. So so I think we'll let him have that. So this is Reed Captains. Very similar to Arglin's, which is quite worrying because I know Arglin did pretty well. Again, it's all about making the ramp super smooth, it looks like. And then this is Scott Freeze, very similar to Bolts, just a ramp. Oh, that looked pretty high as well. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I think I might have cocked this. And here are the results of the high jump. Arglin is out in first place. He achieved 50 flags. Reed, 48. Alias Rock, 46. Scott, 45. 
RCE 42 and Bolt came last just with 41. So therefore the overall leaderboards currently look like this. On to the next event, the Shot Put event. The art of flinging a giant boulder as far as you can. As the deer watches on and provides moral support, you must fling your rock as far as you can. Length will be measured along this route vertically if you're if you're that good at this level. Just ignore the bus that's going to fall to its doom. That's purely for the timing because you have been given one hydraulic. You also have unlimited budget and a 20 minute time limit. And don't forget, Unbreakable is turned on. We will be following RCE as he represents Great Britain. Right, so the shot put event. Uh... <laughs> This level is absolutely huge and insane. Fair play. It must have taken ages to make. Uh, but what, what I was thinking for this one, as Unbreakable is turned on... Oh no, we've only got one hydraulic. Balls. Okay, well there goes that idea. I was going to do the old hydraulic expanding into each other trick. Because that worked as a really good catapult in the past. But we only have one, so we, I think we have to use that as a timer. So if we just bring this over to here somewhere. So now we can use the hydraulic controller. Because on this first phase, we can disable the split joint. And on this second one, the split joint will enable. So that means when we start, there's a split joint there. This hydraulic will slowly close together. And when it when it closes, that will release this joint. Meaning, assuming we build like a massive trebuchet catapult thing. As soon as it gets into the air, we can just adjust how long this is. And that's when our trebuchet will let go of the boulder. Right, we should probably start building this. We've got unlimited budget, which is pretty nice. I have been given an extra rule in that the actual weight cannot be heavier than 12,500. So we're probably going to have to use quite a bit of leverage. Let's start building this. So what I'm thinking is let's build our own pivot point. So I think the longer the better. So if we go, I don't know, let's say there. So our weight is there. Then I think we probably want to pivot about there. Does that look normal, right, appropriate? I've actually never built a catapult in this game before. Yeah, so this could be a learning experience. All right, I think to start we'll just truss something up. All right, so we've got that. This is our pivot point. So we want to build something sort of secure. Yeah, so that's pretty good, I think. And then we'll just build our weight here. And we can use reinforced road for that. That's the heaviest material we own. Yeah, and I'm sort of thinking, actually, let's just put it on a bit of a rope just to make it a bit easier. I'm going to keep the grid on and try and keep it like symmetrical looking. I have no idea how much 12,000 is. Maybe we'll just try that for now and see if it works. Oh, yes, it definitely works they maybe need to be higher i feel like we touched the water pretty quick i think we'll sort of curve this up oh god time is actually running out though like that yeah okay right before we go any further i'm gonna delete everything apart from the weight just to see where i am on the cost Twenty-one thousand. Oh god it's got to be 12 and a half that's nothing okay 12508 that's fine that will do that will do so let's see it's not the best is it it's really not the best yeah i think i need to proper shrink this yeah, there you go. So you can see, I think as this gets longer, it should drop. Oh no. What? How am I so bad at this? <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit worried. That's how big they think we can throw. <laughs> and that's how far I have thrown. Uh, do I just need to be bigger? Go big or go home type thing, innit? Yeah, it's nice big arch. We'll fill that with steel. Oh yes, it's been a while. <laughs> been a while since I pressed that button. All right, then just speed trust the crap out of this. I'm pretty confident it will hold. It just might take a minute or so. Uh, thankfully, I can just do half and then mirror it. So I'll do that. All right, so does my arch hold? Oh, God, no, because I haven't done it to the edge. <laughs> All right, lovely. The arch holds. So now I just need to do a crazy sort of arm. Let's hit play. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it bent in the middle. <laughs> And collapsed. Okay, I'm going to strengthen it with some cable. So I'm just going to bung a few of these on. And then what I do here, I just put some cable along either side. And that should, should uh, stop it snapping or bending in the middle. All right, now I've just got to stop the arch from caving in on itself. Oh god, I'm really running out of time. So maybe if I just cable the crap out of it. Okay, let's try that. Please, please. Yes. Yes, it's working. Oh, I've just got to work on the timer. All right, quick, quick. Get smaller. We're nearly there. We actually did it. Oh, that's pretty good. That's didn't go very far. So can we beat that by letting go a bit later? Basically, if this rock flies off my screen, then I let go at the right at a better time. If it hits the ground before... 
No, that's good. That's way better. Right, I'm going up to 300 speed just because I've only got... I've got a minute left. I think I want to let go, like, on the way up. So we want it even smaller, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that was pathetic. We've got a few seconds. So I'm thinking, what if we just try and make it more of a trebuchet rather than a catapult? So what I'm thinking, we do all that, and then we just have, like, a load of rope. And that should tighten, and then whip it. It's ready. Ooh! Oh, that's way better. That's way better. Right, add more rope, add more rope. I've got a few seconds. <laughs> Quick! Whoa! Yes! <laughs> oh, we cleared the entire thing. Wow! Alright, so this is my final design. The shot put. Let's have a little look then. So we've got a proper trebuchet, and it lets go just at the right time. And we get about... We get we get to that point. So that's pretty good. I, I was worried, I'm not going to lie, that I wasn't even going to make the water. <laughs> uh, I just wasn't thinking big enough to start. Uh, and I found out how powerful trebuchets are. I honestly had no idea they were that much better than a catapult. But it does make sense. Like all that extra leverage and whip. All right, let's go check out the other people's solutions. So this is Aliens Rocks. Oh man, that's so clever. He used springs to pull it down, not a weight. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good. <laughs> yeah, he made, he made use of the of the anchors down there. That's so clever, fair play. Let's, whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Oh no, I've done so badly. I cleared everything. <laughs> right, let's watch this in slow motion, 20% zoomed in. Boosh! Holy crap, that's really good, fair play. I didn't even think to use springs. So this is Arglin's shot put. Oh dear. <laughs> I feel like everyone's taking advantage of springs and I proper ballsed up. So watch it on 100% to start. Bloosh! Yeah, it, it's gone. It is gone. Oh, it might be better than Aliens Rocks as well. All right, we'll watch it in slow motion and just... Yeah, can you see all the springs pulling? I think these ones pull around this side and these ones push. So it proper whips it and he's got the old trebuchet rope for that extra leverage. Fair play, Arglin. All right, so this is Bolts. Looks like he did the weights, no springs, thankfully. So I might stand a chance. Probably not. Probably not at all. But let's have a look. Floosh. Oh, yeah. There we go down there it really shows how much easier it is with springs i think because unbreakable's on so you can really use the spring power as yes, this is reed captains oh god another spring one okay <laughs> i think me and bolt are propping up the bottom of the leaderboards here i assume this is going to go flying bloosh yeah is it going to be better than the others though i think it might be it just skimmed the ceiling i think you might have won this one. Oh, and it's waving as well <laughs> All right, so watch this one in slow motion. Oh, look, it all, like, contracts. That really didn't move a lot to get all that momentum. It's because he did the tiniest little lever arm. Fair play, right. Oh, and this is Scott's. Oh, that's really strange. So, like, this side of the pond, we have uh, we did the big arch and the big arm. And uh, the other side, they all did springs and used their brains. Uh, I'm also liking the shape of the uh, of the weight there. That would be a bonus point if I was in charge of the leaderboards. Yeah, but let's watch this. Oh, wow, there's a lot of cable. Loosh, let's go up there. I wonder, is it going to be better than mine? Oh, yes. Yes. That means I came fourth. Sorry, I, sh I shouldn't cheer at people's misdoings. So in reverse order, the leaderboard for the shot put event. Bolt with 182.25 meters. In fifth, Scott Free with 314.5 meters. Fourth was RCE with 328.69 meters. Third was Aliens Rock, 399.64. Just pipping him was Arglin with 401.73 meters. And just about in front, Reed Captain with a distance of 402.98 meters. After two events, the overall results are looking like this. It's joint up top between Arglin and Reed Captain. Right, on to the next event. Hello and welcome to the Hurdle Run event. Contestants will have 20 minutes and must make as many hurdles as quickly as possible to reach the end. Hurdles vary in size and there's a checkpoint before each one that you must hit. The hurdles must stay vertical, there's no knocking them over in this contest. And with unlimited budget, RCE will be representing Great Britain once again. Right, so looking at this, pretty cool. I think everything's sort of set up. I think it's just a case of doing a spring cannon to sort of spring me up. Because it looks like split joints are all set up at the right time. So as my car hits the checkpoint, these unlock. So if I just make these compressed and boosh. Oh yes, we got over. Oh nice. <laughs> Can I literally just copy that to every single one? I imagine that's not going to work. Because that was pretty tight. Oh no. Oh 
Yeah, we, f we fell down the pit. I thought I was going to topple and like trap us forever then. All right, so for this one, we're going to want double the springs, I reckon. So if we mirror and then just tie them together, that should launch us straight up on this one. Ready? Boosh. Oh. Yeah, a bit too, a bit too up. We want to go forward a little bit. I think it's all about getting a clean, like getting your angle right. Oh. Oh. That was pretty good. I'm happy with that one. Although a little bit slow. This is a timed event, so it's all about getting to the end as quickly as possible. Let's just copy this one a few times and we'll see how we do. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, still looking good. Oh! No! Oh, we didn't make it. We didn't make the last one. That is high. That is actually high. Alright, so I've just reduced the compression on that side, which hopefully should launch this side up first. So let's slow it right down and just see what happens. So we're on 20% speed. Ready? Yes, yes, yes. It's going the right... Oh, it's gone way over. Yeah. Oh, and we landed on our wheels. Yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> okay, so now it's just to work on time. Let's go back to this first one. We want to get this as efficient as possible. So he sort of leans back a bit too much and goes too high. So I'm thinking if we do 50% compression on both springs, hopefully that shouldn't change too much. It'll just... Yeah, it'll just make him a bit lower. So, so we'll up it to 70 Oh, there you go. That was that was smooth. That was very smooth. This second one, I want to get rid of the backflip, I think. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. I'm going to try and fix this middle one, I think. Because although it was funny doing a wheelie, wheelies are quite slow. So let's try Let's reduce some of these. All right, I did a few more tweaks, but this is my final run because we ran out of time. So smooth first jump, second jump, pretty good. Third jump flip we land in the wheelie position but that actually helps us in this jump because we launch really far and almost land on the flag all right let's go see how other people hurdled all right so this is arglin's one let's see how smooth he's oh he's got cable oh he's got like bits of steel in there to stop them all moving this looks pretty smooth i'm not gonna lie this is aliens rocks again very smooth he has gone high on some of the jumps oh so much smoother than mine though he's got little like base things to stop the springs move that's pretty clever actually so this is bolts again he's done the same as tyler he's got the oh that was close to falling over <laughs> yeah he's got like the little base anchors oh that one went flying nice that looked pretty fast actually so this is reeds i think he did similar to me just spammed <laughs> yes <Yeah>, spam. <laughs> bound the springs and did some backflips just for style points I'm not sure if we get style points though, but oh, I think you would have won it. Triple backflip was that? And then this is Scott's. Oh yeah, he's he's got loads of steel in there just to keep, just to make sure the springs go exactly where you want. That looks really smooth. Oh, and a backflip for style. Oh, he did. He did get stuck up on that last hurdle. That could have affected his time. All right, I'll hand over to our commentator to look at the leaderboards in reverse order. Reed Captain achieved a time of 16.452. RCE 16.304 seconds. Scott Free 16.044 seconds. Bolt 15.616. Tyler came second with 14.75 seconds on the clock. And Arglin wins with 14.132 seconds. So after three events, the overall rankings look like this. Arglin has taken the lead. He is well out in front. And it's not looking good for the developer or the real engineer. <laughs> On to the next event. Hello and welcome to the weightlifting event. This one is simple. The limo will have weights dropped on it. You must build a bridge to span the river. When the limo gets to the other side, an additional weight will land on it. The limo will cross the river again, but being slightly heavier. When it reaches this side, another weight will be dropped, and so on and so forth. Your bridge must be strong to take as many weights as possible. Representing Great Britain, the real civil engineer. Right, so this looks like a really freaking fun level. So we've got to build as strong a bridge as possible within the budget. We've only got 44,000. I've got 20 minutes to do this, though, which is pretty nice. So first off, eight bits of road. I assume that just gets us straight across. Yep. And then from there, oh, we've only got wood. There's only wood as a building material. <laughs> Sneaky. Uh, right, so what would be the strongest way? That's our middle piece. So if we can just do everything on this side, we can then mirror to the other side. So I'm sort of thinking maybe that sort of thing might be good. Or maybe we just fully go underneath. Yeah, what if we do... Okay, so we can do that. And then we can add a bit of an under truss. 
I'm actually thinking we've got quite a lot of budget here. I might do a separate wall brace underneath. I'm sort of thinking we take this down here like that sort of thing, potentially. Right, so we can just about see through the water. This is our first iteration. The very ends aren't very strong. So we could potentially do reinforced road. Oh, but then also these sections. They weren't very happy. So if we instead did that sort of layout. So if we delete those two and sort of put a muscle in there. Because this is where all of our weight's sort of coming down. Yeah, we may as well. We got we got the money. So we may as well truss over the top as well. So not looking great. I think I feel like we could break already on this one. But you can see how the level works now. It brings back a heavier weight. Nice. And grabs another weight. Turns around. This is really, really cool. I like this. I really like this. Oh, but we collapsed. Okay. All right. So as I got the budget, I'm sort of thinking all this weight is coming down this beam. So there's a lot heading down there. So if we were to just do that sort of thing. Now the force that was going through this beam has two beams to go along. So that should, I say should because I'm not entirely sure, but that should make it a bit stronger. Oh God, what happened there? We dropped a weight. Oh no, I deleted something. Bollocks. Hang on, I'm going to have to go back then. There you go. Yeah, I accidentally deleted. All right, so let's see. Has this extra beam helped this one out? It still went pretty orange, actually. <laughs> All right, is it going to survive? Uh, yes. Okay, we've now... We've got further than before. But now with an extra weight. Oh, yeah, that broke. That broke. So what broke down here? So that one. So maybe we want to add an additional wall brace. And that just means the weight that was coming down here is now spread. It now hits the wall as well. Just spreading the weight out. That's essentially all we're doing. I sort of want to try another another design while we have time. We still have time. Alright, so this time I want to try and use tension. Obviously we don't have rope or anything, but we do have wood. And we can try and use wood in tension. So from our tension bridges previously, you know that going as low as possible is best. And then we can do a straight line between those and fill that in. And then copy that to the other side. And then it's all about just making this stronger. Because wood doesn't work the best under tension. But if we truss it, you can see it's a lot stronger. Alright, so what I've done here, I've just I've just trussed the, the rope, if you want to call it rope. Uh, seems to hold that okay. Next one. Ooh, not bad. Okay, and then it died. Alright, so now I've just made the rope, like, way thicker. Is that any better? No. In a word, no. <laughs> All right, let's get back to what we had before. Because we did try tension, but it seems the arch always wins. All right, so we're back over here with... Oh, okay, so that one breaks. So could we bring this up slightly and then do that and that? I want to sort of try and reduce how many nodes we add in. Because we, sort, we know that nodes add weight. Whereas adding extra beams to nodes that we already have, that should just add strength. So what if we just trust the crap out of everything down here? I always panic when I'm under a time limit, so I've just gone mental and trust absolutely everything, so... <laughs> so it looks it looks a bit messy, but uh, time has just run out. I haven't even pressed play yet, so let's see how well we do. Oh dear, let's have a look. Let's have a look. First one, good. I didn't see much orange there. Second one, yeah, that's... Can you see that piece there? That's going orange. That's not good. That's not good. By the way, look at the detail in this level. Like, they added, like, a proper weight bar and everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, these levels, if you want to play them yourselves, they will be going live. Uh, more details in the old description of the video. Uh, have a go. See if you can beat my scores. See if you can beat the other people's scores. Uh, oh, God. I did see a... Yeah, there's a bit broken already. And down there, just flapping about. We have got really far, though. I swear we didn't get this far previously. Yeah, we've gained an extra black. <gasps> oh, we fell. So that's not bad. We had three blues and two blacks remaining when we failed. I just love how... <laughs> I'm sure when you look at all these levels and you think, which one was the engineer? You probably wouldn't think this one. <laughs> I panic when there's a time limit. I really panic. All right, so this is Arglin's weightlifting one. It's looking pretty tidy, actually. There's a lot of muscleage going on. We've got the arch, the famous sine curve arch. Now he's got these, like, pretty cool, like, cross-braced muscles. But yeah, we'll speed it up, because I am I am a bit concerned with <laughs> how well Arglin does. Everyone knows he is the Polybridge Master, so 
I'd fully expect this to go all the way. Final black weight. Oh, <laughs> fair play. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> all right, so this is Aliens Rocks. Oh, and he's got like super quad muscles underneath holding up a simple sort of truss with a big truss around it. So quite interesting to see how this one does. Oh, it's going, I don't know, if it might fail on this one. Yeah, there you go. Whew, that was a very good effort. So this is Bolt's design, very similar to Arglin's, which is worrying because we all know how far that one got. <laughs> and it looks like a chode, so bonus point from me. Look, oh, just one black one remaining, two blues remaining. So this is Reed Catches. Look at that. We've got like super curves of doom everywhere. <laughs> I'm worried about how good this one's going to be. It does look strong as anything. Oh, it's just making me feel so stupid about panicking. Why do I panic? Right. Oh, so he took he took the penultimate blue and it just broke then. Uh, is the limo safe? No, the limo's going in. <laughs> See ya. That's getting a Wilhelm scream, I'll tell you that. Right, so this is Scott's one. I actually watched this on stream. He streamed it on his Twitch. And uh, he did he did better than me. So uh, <laughs> let's try and remember how well he did. It's a very nice design. We've got, we got like an overarch and a sort of under, a very flat underarch. The penultimate black weight. The penultimate blue. And then the final black weight. Oh, and then the final blue weight. Ah, oh, that was very good. Fair play. All right, let's go and check out the other results. The results of the weightlifting. RCE came last. Absolutely terrible for a real engineer not to do well in this contest. Alias Rock and Bolt were tied, so he added extra weight until their bridge collapsed. Therefore, Bolt came fifth and Alias Rock came sixth. Reed Captain came third, carrying a total of seven weights before his bridge collapsed. Arglian eighth, and Scott Free won this one with nine weight carried before his bridge broke. Therefore, the overall standings of the 2021 Poly Bridge Olympics, or Poly Olympics as we like to call them, in joint fifth is Bolt of the United States and RCE of Great Britain with eight points. Congratulations. In fourth is Scott Free from Ireland with 14 points. In joint second was Aliens Rock and Reed Captain, both representing the United States. And in first place, of course, who else could it have been? Our resident poly engineer, Arglin, representing the United States with 22 points. And that is the end of the Poly Olympics. I hope you have all enjoyed. I know I certainly have. Uh, I'm going to go take this peg off my nose because it's hurting now. Uh, as, as a wise man once told me, peace, love and bridges. And I'll see you next time there's a Poly Olympics in four years time. Bye.